I like that clock and music in the top. Mm -hmm. right? Kind of jazzy. Yeah, <laughs> get ready to fall back. We're looking live now as the sun begins to set. Today's official sunset before 6 o'clock at 5.58. Oh, boy. Well, this time next week, though, it'll be dark yeah. outside of this time with the end of daylight saving time. That's happening this weekend. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is on the sky deck to explain how the time change can really affect your health, your mood, mm. all of it, Steph. <laughs> well, I am enjoying every bit of sunshine left. It's a gorgeous gorgeous yeah. night out here you guys it's warm it's windy but it's really nice now with the start of standard time that's going to happen Saturday overnight it's going to be dark at five o'clock even earlier and doctors say that time change can cause all kinds of health issues leaves on the trees are golden and that means the clock on City Hall is about to change daylight saving time ends at 2 a.m. Sunday morning it's time to fall back turn your clocks back an hour. And I'm one of the weird people that like standard time. Yeah. I think we should just go to standard and just forget about switching it. But Anna Huber running to catch a train in Chestnut Hill isn't a fan of the time change. I go to bed earlier <laughs> and I wake up crankier. Doctors say the time change is disruptive to sleep patterns. We see higher rates of workplace safety accidents per se in the fall when people become sleep deprived because they've stayed up later but woke up at the same time. We also see a lot of mood changes and higher rates of depression. And because there are fewer hours of daylight, there's an increase in seasonal affective disorder when people are more depressed. Doctors say the time change can be hard on everyone, but especially for children, older adults, and early birds who avoid going to bed later. I don't like it being dark when I come home, I have to admit. It makes me sad. Experts say there are a few things you can do to adjust to the time change. Start delaying meal and bedtimes about 15 to 30 minutes. If you're on a device before bed, make sure the blue light filter is on. Dark, cool rooms are best for sleep. Avoid long naps during the day and expose yourself to light when it's time to wake up. And for children, an earlier bedtime will help. They're not going to uh, sleep in in the morning and then they'll be more sleep deprived and more tired the following night. Now, with the start of standard time, the sun will rise earlier and doctors say light exposure earlier in the day is better for your health. So there is that upside, but we're going to miss these nice sunny evenings. Oh, yeah. If only this could last, you guys. It's beautiful. I know. It's so nice. Just soak it up while you can, Steph. I <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you.